so our drawing has pretty much clean shape but we still need to clean some of these areas like this one so I'll just trim it here alright and now we can add the details so I'll now start by adding the stairs and I'll go to this line tool okay and let's start from this point somewhere over here so I'll take the reference of that point all right and now after an approximate distance of one feet I'll just click downwards and let's enter six inches and then click here and then again one fit and downwards six inches and then here one fit and again downwards six inches then one fit and again I'll just join it with this one here so that's it so we have this profile of the stair let's now go to line tool again and this time I'll add the second one here so I'll just take the reference of that point and I'll make a slant line which looks like this all right so there we have it now I'll add rest of the drawings here and to do that I'll actually use a rectangle tool so now I'll click on this point and I'll make a rectangle which is approximately of this height and this thin okay so it should be just like this again I'm using approximate distance here not any exact distance in this case all right so now we have done this let's now click on this one and let's make some copies of this so I'll go to copy and I'll just copy it up to a particular distance maybe up to this and again here so these are the two copies which I've made one at this midpoint and one here at the end point and let's select this one and let's make another copy of this so I'll go to this point and I'll copy it here and now we need to extend it up to this rectangle so I'll go to extend press enter and let's extend this line up to that rectangle there we have it so this is now properly extended up to that rectangle let's now go to trim and let's trim the part which should not be visible which are these portions actually this is also something which should not be visible this is the area of the stair that will use hatch to shade okay and we'll just shade these areas so this is what we are going to get finally actually we just left one part here so I'll just clean that one as well all right so that's now properly cleaned up here you can see it here clearly and our drawing is pretty much complete except a few small changes and few small additions so let's add the chimney here so that will be the final detail and for that I'll once again use the rectangle tool so let's now click on this point and here again I'm just using the approximation and as you know that this is the side where we have the kitchen so that's where we are adding the chimney so again I'm using this approximate distance and let's go to rectangle tool and let's make this rectangle just like this and let's move it so I'll select its midpoint and move it on this midpoint let's select it make a copy up to a particular distance all right let's add a line and let's add it somewhere over here let's make a mirror image and that's it we can actually add another line here just in the center and if required you can actually make an offset of maybe three inches on both the sides on this side as well as on this side and now we can remove this one all right so that's it so our chimney is also there and if you need to actually change the height you can do that by using this stretch tool so so I'll maybe decrease its height a little bit up to this all right so a lot of detail is already in the drawing let's add some railings and we are now good to go with that so for adding the railings I'll use polyline tools so I'll go to polyline and I, I'll actually join the midpoint so just make sure that you join the midpoints here of these rectangles you can actually press enter key to repeat the command 
okay and I'll select these two points and I'll join it like this and also make sure that you join it from this point to this point so not only from the top but also from the bottom so just join it like this and repeat it for this complete side so I'll go to midpoint oops I just selected the endpoint no I need to select the midpoint so I'll select the midpoint and I'll click on this midpoint and again I'll select this midpoint this one and select the remaining midpoints and this midpoint and obviously this midpoint okay so up to this point it looks good now let's add some vertical bars here for that I'll go to polyline again and now I'll add the first bar somewhere over here like this and here in this case I'll make multiple copies and to do that I don't need to select any array or any other tool you can do it directly with the copy tool so I'll go to copy and I'll select this one press enter select this as the base point now instead of making a single copy let's click on this array and let's add 28 as number of arrays so we'll now have 28 bars that can be fitted within that area but I'll select fit option now so that will allow me to decide the maximum dimensions so that will be something like this and there we have it so all the railings are there now you can simply copy them and you can just paste them right on this one so I'll, I'll just make maybe uh, select bunch of more these railings and I'll select copy select this point and just click somewhere over here and we have it here okay properly placed with equal distances and you can actually repeat the process for this side as well so again just make a copy select the copy tool select this one and I'll just move it here and now you can actually see that I've made some extra ones so let's select these extra polylines and let's erase them so that you have only the required number of these polylines and again you can select these few here and you can actually copy them to the last remaining side which is here and we have it here now again some extras that can be removed and here also go to polyline actually and just make these railings here so you can press enter twice to repeat that command and you can just join them like this and like this okay so now we only need to do some cleanup work here also so I'll go to trim press enter let's do some cleanup so this is the first thing that you need to remove then this one obviously this needs to go this one also and this one as well so that has actually cleaned our drawing pretty much okay okay this is something that we need to take care of okay so that's it now we need to add the thickness to these polylines and that can be easily done with the help of width tool so simply double click on any one of these polylines maybe this one so double click there and go to width option now enter the width in this case I'm entering a width of 2 inches and press enter and just look at this so the thickness is added here and you can then copy this property to other polylines so let's type MA that is match properties command press enter select this polyline okay this one and now copy this property on remaining railing so I'll click on this one then I'll click on this one and then carefully click on this one okay and then this and then this one and this one this and this that's it all right now we'll add the thickness to these ones also and for that once again I'll double click on this one and again I'll go to width and let's add one inches and press enter that's it the thickness is now added and now we can make multiple copies again of this thickness using the match properties command so I'll type MA 
press enter and now I'll copy this one and I'll paste it on all the remaining ones actually you can just make a window like this to copy all of these properties instead of clicking one by one you can just make this kind of crossing window just make sure it uh, avoids any contact with other polylines here we actually need to make it one by one we cannot do it in one go so I actually have to carefully select these lines actually we have an overlapping one here but that's not visible so I'll just leave that all right here also we need to make the selection quite carefully again this is the one that we need to select we have two lines there here we have that one and now we can actually select it like this all right so there we have it so we have now added all of these railings and all now we can add okay we just left that one so let's type ma enter let's select any one of these and add the thickness here as well all right so now we have pretty much done everything here and we now need to add the final touch and that can be added with hatches so i'll go to hatch and i'll select this ar shake pattern i'll select this area and this area now we need to change the scale actually in this case so i'll change the scale to 0 0.2 well actually we need to change it further so 0 0.05 that looks better but I'll maybe change it to 0 0.03 let's see yes that looks even better so I'll just keep it that way I'll keep it at 0 0.03 all right let's click on close hatch creation and before doing that we'll actually decrease the transparency here because it is actually completely opaque to show the sense of depth I'll actually reduce the transparency and I'll make it like 30% and close it now i'll go to hatch again and i'll select this area and i'll hatch it here but with full transparency with zero transparency actually okay that's it so because this area is in the front this is in the back so to give that solid look i have selected this kind of transparency here in this case and if you want to increase this transparency you can select the pattern once again and you can actually increase it just dial it up a little bit further to maybe 44 and that looks even better now let's add the brick pattern so i'll go to hatch again and let's select the normal brick pattern so that's the one which i'm going to select and i'll select the areas where i'm going to put it all right actually you know i just don't want to put it on uh, this area so i just need to remove it so i'll select remove and i'll just remove it from this area i'll add these patterns only up to this these areas now we also have pattern here you can actually add it here manually or you can hide them all and then add them and then bring them back so that's what we're going to do next but for now i'll just increase the hash transparency to the same value approximately 40 and yep that's that will do okay 39 and then i'll close it again we have a lot of these polylines so let's select them all here okay and let's select all of them here and well that's not needed or maybe we will need it so i'll just select the ones which are needed so these three and these two and here also we'll just need these poly lines only so i'll just select them whichever is needed here okay and now right click isolate hide objects so that will hide it all now we can again make an hatch pattern here so i'll just make a pattern here and here and you can see that the transparency is retained the pattern is retained so with the same pattern and everything we are now able to make the hatch here like this we can then close it and once again you can bring it back but before doing that i'll add, add the pattern here as well so i'll go to hatch again this area then this area and this area but the transparency is zero in this case close hatch creation let's right click isolate and end object isolation to bring everything back in the drawing area let's add the final details and for that i'll go to hatch again and now i'll add the concrete pattern so this is the one which i'm going to use ar concrete let's select this area and this area carefully zoom into this and add it here as well 
so these are the two areas also where you need to add it and you can change the scale if you want but i am pretty much happy with this scale so i'll just press enter to finish this pattern and let's add the last hatch pattern and that will be the solid one so once again move up select solid and select this area so that will add the hatch pattern on the complete stair here okay and that's it so we are now done with this and this is our front elevation so as you can see that i've used a lot of different tools for making this drawing and a lot of different commands have been used you can make it in your own way and i have actually simplified this drawing a lot still it took long time to make this drawing so you can add more details if you want you can add as many details you can use correct dimensions and everything to make it as detailed as possible so if this drawing is clear to you then don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any questions related to this then let me know in the comment box and to get this drawing you can click on the link in the description and as always thanks for watching